Hi everyone, I'm Carrie Pena and this is Front Doors TV. With me in studio right now, Jason Barlow, the CEO of Habitat for Humanity Central Arizona. Jason, great to see you Hi, again. Hi, Gary, great to see you. Live and in person <laughs> and wearing your jacket. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We have some exciting news to talk about. We Let's do. begin with the first 3D home for Habitat and it's yeah. almost finished. It's almost finished, yep, Habitat. Uh, printed its first 3D home right here in Tempe, Arizona. And it was an amazing collaboration with a lot of different people to make this happen. It was quite a journey to make this happen. And really the point is figuring out solutions for more affordable housing. That's right, that's right. Uh, we're nothing if we're not about innovation and trying to um, you know, break this horrible cycle of lack of affordable housing. So when we were approached by some ASU grads, hey, we've got a 3D printer, you interested in trying? I was all in immediately. And uh, it was a long journey. COVID hit. We had delays with the printer, but it's an amazing home. I hope you can see it. Uh, and it's, uh, we have a family ready to move in, Marcus and Sean. And I think it's going to be uh, a real game changer potentially for housing and building housing in the United States. Right now with the housing market, especially here in Arizona, I would imagine the affordable housing crisis is at a, a very concerning place. Oh, it is. When I started at Habitat six years ago, the average home was 220,000. It's now over 400 and they're predicting 485 by this summer. And that's just an incredible leap in costs. And those costs directly burden the families who we like to serve, which are the, the lower income families. So the working, really the people that have two jobs, they're anybody at your neighbors you run into, but they're having a high, harder and harder time keeping up with their rents and their mortgages. Tell folks right now about this uh, exciting Arizona tax credit program and an opportunity to help Habitat for Humanity. Oh yeah, well I think this Arizona tax credit is like the biggest no-brainer that has ever existed. You can take money that you're gonna to give to the Arizona state government as part of your income taxes and you can just redirect that to a charity like Habitat for Humanity. If you're single, you can take 400 and if you're a family, you can take 800. And I mean, this is a simple way to look at it. Here, if this, if this was your tax, if this 20 bucks was your tax liability for the state, you could give it to the state of Arizona, and I'm sure they'd use it for one of the things, or you could hand it over to Habitat for Humanity, and we'd put it to immediate use, either building a new home or repairing or renovating a home for a family right here in the Valley that needs help. Talk a little bit more about the programs at Habitat. Oh, we've got tremendous programs. In fact, our upcoming uh, fundraiser, we're going to emphasize six of the programs we have going on. But we build new homes, we renovate, we have an aging in place program, we have a veterans program, and we have a construction training program, just to name a few. And I know the veterans program is especially dear to you. Yeah, well, I'm an Air Force retired guy, and uh, uh, Fred and Linda Milanovic came along uh, some time ago and have have been magnificent partners with us and we're serving more and more veterans, but we could use more help. We, st if we still have probably a hundred veterans on our waiting list for services. And these are people with, you know, uh, holes in their roof, holes in their floor, single pane glass, no AC, no running water. I mean, we've seen it all in this community and uh, we need uh, just more resources to be able to serve them. One of the objectives, as you mentioned, at your big fundraiser is to raise the funds to 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 help hundreds, thousands, really, Hopefully, of folks yeah. uh, in Arizona. So you're excited to get back in person. The last two years, you've done your events <laughs> virtually. We've had the great honor yes. to produce them. But you have had great success with your virtual events, but it is still exciting to be back in person. Oh, it is. Those, those uh, two events we've held during the COVID era, helping Habitat from home and the good news from Habitat, phenomenal events probably had more people look at those than we did we would have ever had in person. This year on uh, April 22nd, we're gonna host Blueprints and Blue Jeans. It's gonna be a hybrid event. It's gonna be in person and live streamed. We're hoping to bring many thousands of people into us for that evening. It's gonna be a great gala. Uh, it's going to be a kind of the culmination of our every door opens a new opportunity. And we've got some exciting prizes, exciting auction, and it's just a great opportunity for us to uh, raise funds for our mission and raise friends, new friends. And if people want to find out more about the events or they want to check out the live stream and all of the work you're doing, yeah. where can they go? Habitatcaz.org. So that's Habitatcaz for Central Arizona.org. You can find a registration for the event. 
You can see what's going on. You can see videos of the 3D home. Yeah. And you can just see what's been going on at Habitat for Humanity. It's not your grandmother's habitat anymore. This is an exciting new world. And we're ramping up and building up to meet the challenges that are facing us right here. Jason, thank you so much. Thank and you, And I always appreciate you being here. Are you going to wear that jacket to the event? Oh, yeah. This That's is your my, jacket. That's this your is signature. The Blue Prince uh, jacket. There's a Habitat floor plan on the jacket. I need to figure out my fashion situation <laughs> here pronto. Yeah. Thank you so much for being thank in you. studio. And thanks to all of you for watching Front Doors TV. I'm Carrie Pena.